we have to start. And today it is my pleasure to move so here Jendo uh, B from University of Tunis El Manar. Uh, and as I understand, this is joint work with Helen Airo and Habib Kurdia. The name of the talk is Geometric Models in, in, uh, Inducing uh, Sustainable Back Type. Please. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, Andre, for this invitation and uh, for uh, uh, giving me this opportunity to, to give a talk in, your, in the similar way of calculus. So I uh, present uh, uh, the perspective of my uh, PhD. Uh, study uh, on geometric model and using an Einstein Olympic type phenomenon. This uh, talk uh, is uh, basically uh, based on uh, some joint works with Habib Warden and uh, Ellen Ayro from the University of uh, Picardy Jules So, my talk is organized uh, in uh, these uh, parts. The first one, I will recall some property of the Einstein, the Euclidean Einstein Olympic uh, semi group. And we propose to give uh, some uh, geometric uh, ge generalization of uh, the Einstein Olympic phenomena on some complex domain in CN using uh, the background of uh, Lie group representation and their infinitesimal representation. So, it's well known that uh, the collision of uh, brown particle and uh, some uh, stochastic uh, media allow to the long, longer equation, which uh, uh, is the stochastic differential equation given by dxt equal minus xt dt plus uh, uh, the square root of 2, of two dvt, where dt is the standard of motion on air. Or also, this equation is well uh, studied uh, in uh, for uh, the n dimension case, or in some there is some generalization also for uh, infinite dimensional Hilbert space. And our aim to give uh, some approach to study uh, this uh, equation in uh, some uh, in some complex manifold. <laughs> First of all, the Orsay-Lembeck semi-group is given by the expectation of fxt, uh, knowing that x uh, start at zero from the point x, and it has this uh, integral representation, uh, which uh, related to the Gaussian probability measure on uh, r or r on rn, and uh, some uh, classical property of uh, the Einstein Olympic semi group as uh, the semi group pro property equal by uh, given by the property number two and uh, the characterization of the infinitesimal generator, which is uh, the limit of uh, NTF minus FX divided by T, and uh, we take the limit when T uh, goes to zero. And we obtain the classical Einstein Olympic operator, which is the, <clears throat> the classical or the, the Euclidean Laplacian minus the Euler operator. And uh, our aim is to study or to give a geometric meaning of this uh, operator in some complex domain of uh, CN. And uh, also one of the main uh, important property of the einstein Olympic uh, uh, operator is the invariance. Also, it is symmetric with respect to the Gaussian me uh, measure. Uh, that is the integral of LFX multiplied by uh, the, the symmetric property is when we multiply uh, LFX by G, GX d gamma equal to the integral of uh, fx l g x uh, dx. <clears throat> and uh, for g equal one, uh, the invariance property implies this invariance property for all uh, c2 uh, zero function where we, which uh, are uh, uh, vanish at the infinity and uh, of class c2. 
So uh, I don't want I do and we're then proposed to uh, to use some uh, geometric uh, structure such as uh, Lie group representation on some uh, function space of holomorphic function to construct some uh, uh, Ornstein Ehrenbeck operator like the classical Ornstein operator uh, living or acting on function on <clears throat> on a domain of of C or of C M, and uh, we formulate this uh, approach by considering uh, a Lie group G acting on some domain D, and uh, we, we assume that the group excuse me, uh, excuse me. Uh, so uh, can I ask you uh, when you said uh, that Lie group is acting on a domain? You mean that you have a, a family of uh, vector fields which are considering as a uh, uh, operator as the differentiation operator? Yes. Uh, here, the action of the group on yes, the domain yes, is yes. characterized by the function from G times D into D. Mm -hmm. The function. Okay, so, G times D to D and mm -hmm. which leave invariant uh, the domain. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like for, it can be non differential, uh, some non differential operator, something, uh, something else. Yeah, here it's uh, an algebraic uh, definition by just a function which leave the domain invariant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we represent uh, this algebraic or this group on space of function uh, living on D. We consider some uh, the space of holomorphic function first of all, and uh, our uh, <clears throat> we consider this operator T for each uh, element G in the group. Uh, t we we construct T G is an operator of uh, on holomorphic function defined by a multiplication and a composition operator on the right, and we, we multiply it by a scalar function dependent on the domain and the group. Hg is a, a scalar function, and the Kj here is a, an holomorphic automorphism of the domain. Mm -hmm. And uh, we the uh, the homomorphism group the property is uh, given by tg1 for each uh, element g1 and g2 in the group tg1 g2 the multiplication inside the group is uh, equal to tg1 com composition with tg2 applied uh, on holomorphic function and uh, with this property of uh, uh, Lie group representation on the space of holomorphic function, we obtain some condition on the multiplier, Hg, and uh, uh, Kg usually is an, an automorphism of the domain D, which is invariant uh, with the, uh, the action of the group. And we obtain uh, there's, uh, uh, this uh, co-cycle property given by equation four, this co cycle given uh, Kj, Hj must defy, uh, must satisfy this uh, uh, condition. Hg1 multiplied by Hg2, Kg1 equal H2, G1, G2, Z. And the element uh, in the, uh, on the element, uh, so the natural element of the, of the group, uh, T indexed by uh, the literal element is the uh, identity operator. And uh, when we, uh, what we want to use is uh, some differential operator uh, and use it from this holomorphic uh, Lie group representation. And in the theory of Lie group representation, unitarity is uh, very important. Unitarity in the following sense. We want also to uh, uh, 
consider unitary holomorphism. That is, uh, we shall consider open holomorphic space, but the intersection of uh, holomorphic space and L2 space defined on C nu, uh, such that uh, we have a Hilbert space or uh, a, a reproducing kernel Hilbert space. This depend, depend on the domain D and on the measure nu. Sorry. So we assume that we have a unitary representation, that is, the operator Tj is a unitary uh, operator acting on uh, square integrable function with respect to the measure mu. And uh, we shall say also that this measure is unitarizing for this representation. So, for example, if we uh, we consider uh, the the shift operator, for example, on L two in the uh, classical space L two R D T, where D T is the, for example, the the Lebesgue measure, uh, we have a, a unitary representation of the the group R plus of the additive group on the space of uh, uh, L two function only without uh, holomorphism. But we will see, we will uh, see uh, the importance of holomorphy uh, in this uh, consideration. Uh, in this lemma, we got some example giving, uh, for example, uh, an action of the group uh, Kj is, which I'll say, is an action. And uh, if we fix uh, an holomorphic a scalar holomorphic function. We give here some example, Hg is exponential phi Kj minus phi C. And uh, we prove that uh, the, the set of uh, multiplier Hg is invariant with uh, respect to multiplication. Also, the Jacobian determinant of the, action, of the group action is also uh, a multiplier and uh, satisfy the, the co-cycle uh, identity. <laughs> And uh, for uh, this uh, general type of uh, holomorphic representation, we uh, we assume that there exists a function uh, theta satisfies equation nine, and we prove that this measure is unitarizing for this uh, uh, for this uh, representation given by equation eight, and also uh, this is depend uh, really it's depend on the domain D. And uh, the measure with such that, <coughs> such that the holomorphic space, uh, the space of square integrable function, uh, 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 is not reduced to zero, or it's not, uh, or it's not uh, uh, dense in the in the L two space. Uh, okay, uh, so here, but uh, this uh, equation nine seems to be rather complicated. So you uh, assume that there exists a continuous yeah. strictly positive map. Um, must be checked. As, as, and uh, how you can check this? Uh, for example, uh, it's, it's, uh, it depends on the, the space of all of facts. For example, if uh, the is uh, reproducing kernel Hilbert to the, uh, it is related to the kernel of the Hilbert space, uh, reproducing kernel Hilbert space uh, HL2. Okay, so you will show us some of them, yeah? Yeah, that's okay. uh, under this uh, condition, for example, the, we, we, the measure is unitarizing for this representation A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, our uh, main uh, uh, goal or uh, problem here is to uh, to construct solid with respect to this measure in the second order differential operator on D with respect to this unitarizing measure, which I'll say that this uh, 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 operator is of Orenstein type uh, 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 it is uh, is of Orenstein type and uh, it's it is invariant with uh, some positive measure and 
uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, some perspective to 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 link this operator with some flow process uh, living in the domain D. So uh, any measure is invariant in the domain D with respect to, to this uh, second order differential operator if it satisfies the uh, equation uh, the integral of uh, delta psi z d nu is equal to zero for any differentiable function with uh, compact support in the domain D. And uh, if uh, we have uh, 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 plus uh, a first order one without uh, the constant uh, factor. Where the coefficient here, we assume that the, the, uh, if there is some um, continuous function on the domain and uh, the operator delta is invariant with respect to the, uh, to, to the measure U. And uh, the question how to pass from this algebraic uh, uh, setting of the group uh, uh, representation, legal representation, to, to this differential operator. And uh, by the means of the, uh, the so-called infinitesimal representation of, uh, of any group representation, here we shall consider the Lie algebra of the Lie group, the Lie algebra, for example, in the setting of uh, matrix Lie groups, is the same of all <coughs> matrix uh, in, in the group G. That is, uh, we use the exponential uh, map, and for other groups, it's uh, in the context of uh, uh, <clears throat> differential uh, geometry is uh, like the, the tangent in space uh, at the identity. It's uh, isomorphic to the uh, tangent space at the identity of the group G. <clears throat> and if we assume, uh, <clears throat> if we consider a holomorphic function here, the infinitesimal representation is uh, like the derivation, the, uh, derivation of uh, T, G, epsilon f at epsilon equal to zero and uh, g epsilon is a curve passing by the uh, identity element in the group g mm -hmm. for uh, this uh, for example for the case of uh, holomorphic uh, representation which shall denote denote kj is uh, have, have, have n component in the domain H G is a scalar function, which I'll uh, denote A G V is the derivation of each component of the action, and B V is the scalar function, which is given by the derivation of uh, the multiplier. And we get uh, rho V here is an holomorphic uh, vector field plus uh, a scalar function multiplied by the identity operator. And it's a, a first order uh, differential operator. And using this uh, differential operator of order one, uh, the question how uh, using this operator, we, we, how we can obtain some second order differential operator, which is invariant with respect to this uh, holomorphic, uh, uh, holomorphic representation. That is, we, we, have, we assume that we have a unitary representation 
with in the space of uh, holomorphic uh, square function and which we we want to to correct or to construct something on top of the differential operator and variant with the, this measure mu. In this uh, uh, slide, uh, just uh, we, we give some uh, uh, relation between the, the scalar factor uh, uh, in the infinitesimal representation with respect to the uh, uh, holomorphic vector field given by equation uh, BV is uh, equal to HV actor on phi plus alpha trace uh, L HV, where L HV is the derivation with the, in the direction of H. Where here uh, the bracket is uh, the bracket of a differential uh, operator, like A B is equal to I A composite with B minus B composite with A. In the following, we, we shall give an example of uh, Orstein Ellenbeck operator on the domain uh, on the complex uh, hyperbolic disk in C. We shall consider a model here, which is given uh, by the group S U11 is the group of uh, two matrix uh, A, B, B bar, A bar with determinant equal to one. This group is at, uh, at transitivity on the unit disk. The transitivity that is for any element, for, for two elements, uh, Z1 and Z2 in the disk, there exists uh, so, uh, an element of the, the group such that uh, Z2 equal JZ1. And this transitivity uh, is very important in this uh, uh, for example, in the, the, on, the, on the case of uh, uh, bounded symmetric domain on C. And the action is given by the Mobius transform, given by uh, Kg equal to A bar Z minus B divided by minus B bar Z plus, plus A. And this represents uh, which chart construct representation and uh, this representation uh, TG uh, it is uh, here without uh, uh, yeah, where the factor minus B bar Z plus A is a complex Jacobian of uh, the action and uh, we obtain a unitary holomorphic representation on the Hilbert space, on the Bergman Hilbert space, with respect to the measure mu equal mu, nu minus one divided by pi multiplied by one, model z square power nu minus two, d lambda, where d lambda here is the, uh, the, the Lebesgue measure on c, the restriction of the Lebesgue measure uh, on c. So in order to construct uh, the second order differential operator invariant with respect to this measure, we shall uh, calculate or uh, passing by the infinitesimal representation. And the infinitesimal representation is, uh, uh, is, is characterized by the action of the element of the Lie algebra associated to this group. And the Lie algebra, we prove that is uh, generated by three matrix, X0, X1, and X2. And uh, there's a uh, matrix satisfied for this uh, bilinear form BXY equal to trace X multiplied by Y. We have uh, there's a three identity BX1, one equal minus two, BX0, zero equal to and equal to b x2 x2 and in the theory of uh, Lie group representation this uh, bilinear form is called the killing form associated to the Lie algebra uh, uh, su11 
and uh, we calculate uh, this uh, infinitism or representation of the uh, vector of the basis. We obtain uh, a first order differential operator uh, given by rho x0, rho x1, and rho x2. Here, rho x0 is uh, a constant multiplied by z, is like the, the multiplication operator plus z2 minus 1 d dz applied on f and the uh, rho x1 is minus uh, i e nu f minus 2 i z the derivation of f on z and the last one is uh, analog to the first one with the uh, there's two factor of uh, the, we have the multiplication by z and the multiplication by z2 plus 1. And uh, by combining there's the first order differential operator <coughs> and uh, using this, uh, of this identity which equal to which shall uh, denote delta o u like uh, the Orstein and back is equal of sum of bxk uh, k rho and the hv here is uh, the first order operator for example h h uh, x0 is uh, z2 minus 1 d dz uh, h x1 is minus 2 i z d uh, the derivation uh, with respect to z and the last one is minus uh, uh, I z2 plus 1 multiplied by d dz. And uh, this combination reduced to uh, uh, 4 delta Lb, which I'll speak uh, of the next, minus 4 z bar, 1 minus uh, the model square of z dz bar. And uh, this contour part here is, in fact, the Laplace Beltrami operator on the uh, complex hyperbolic disk. Uh, excuse me, uh, Suhil. Uh, usually, when we say uh, Laplace Beltrami, we associate uh, this operator with some Riemannian matrix or uh, yeah. function. Yeah. So, yes. what, uh, exactly this is, do, is done here? Yes, yes. Uh, the metric is here is uh, uh, 4 divided by uh, ma 1 minus the model of Z2. And we, sh we shall speak about this, uh, the, ge the geometry of uh, the uh, hyperbolic unit disk. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, and this uh, Laplace Beltrami operator is uh, like here a geometric analog of the uh, classical einstein ullenbeck operator. Because the classical one, we have the Laplacian minus the Euler operator. So uh, we just take uh, the special uh, Lie group uh, uh, produced its representation, then yeah. differentiate it, and get uh, the uh, get finally the operator uh, and invariant uh, reunitarizing measure and yes. uh, get the operator uh, such that it coincide with the Laplace Beltrami operator for unitary disk if we define the, the distance in the following way. But yes. uh, uh, maybe if we take another one, uh, the Lie group, we will get uh, another one uh, unitarizing measure and so on. Yes, uh, on yes. the same disk. Is yes, uh, well, there is another, for example, for the, uh, I have I hasn't written it. For example, the group uh, of Euclidean motion uh, on the on, of Aran, uh, we we determined uh, with uh, in a row, uh, we construct some second order differential operator which is uh, invariant with uh, respect to uh, the the Gaussian measure, for example. On on C. Yeah, but uh, I am asking about unit disk. Uh, maybe ah, on the unit the... disk. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so an same thing. another group. Uh, mm -hmm. yes, first I of see. all, we, we we have to uh, to consider a group which leave the the action leave the the uh, leave yes. the for example leave the disk invariant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah. 
perhaps I'll say which, which we can, uh, I guess, we obtain some equivalent, uh, equivalent model. That is uh, another representation which is equivalent uh, to this one, to the consider to the representation considered in this proposition, for example. Yeah. Okay, but uh, here you use uh, all uh, like uh, uh, I, I forgot English name, but uh, simple movement of the union disk, uh, like uh, conform uh, motions of union disk by of special kind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe we can produce. Oh, I see, I see. This is due to the complex structure. Yes, we, uh, it is too restrictive. I see, okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, to uh, to to give this, uh, as mentioned, uh, Andre, uh, that uh, this uh, Laplace Bilstein operator is related to the geometry of the domain D. The geometry is is not the uh, the Euclidean one, but uh, it is uh, related to some uh, to the, the, the so-called Poincaré uh, uh, Poincaré metric. <laughs> that is, uh, the, when we uh, we measure the length of an element by the integral of uh, uh, four divided by this uh, uh, scalar, which equal one minus uh, the square uh, the square power two, and. Uh, for two elements in the repair given by here with dzw is uh, the logarithm of the model of one minus dw bar plus uh, the, <clears throat> the distance uh, z minus w divided by sorry divided by this quantity and this hyperbolic uh, disk uh, with respect to this metric is become remaining manifold with the negative uh, curvature equal to minus one. <clears throat> and uh, here the geodics uh, replace the line, uh, the notion of line on the Euclidean uh, case and geodesic are uh, arc of circle also, uh, we have the line passing by the origin. Also, it's uh, it's considered uh, as an arc of circle orthogonal to the unit uh, circle, which uh, which uh, which uh, represents the boundary of uh, uh, the domain of this uh, of the domain D, which is here the Poincaré disk, mm -hmm. and. Uh, <coughs> The Laplace Bilstein operator uh, is uh, given uh, is given with respect to this uh, uh, this hyperbolic metric. And uh, basically, uh, we I want to just speak about some uh, uh, a work of uh, Guret, which called semi-group de mouvement Brunian hyperbolique, which is. Uh, uh, Published in stochastic and stochastic reports, and uh, we want to, uh, in order to uh, to characterize or to uh, to construct uh, some uh, diffusion uh, flow process associated to this uh, second order differential oper operator delta nu. We uh, we want to understand this uh, theory of. Uh, of uh, hyperbolic dynamics or hyperbolic brown motion to the in the in the disk and uh, to associate uh, then uh, the the flow process associated to to this uh, uh, to this operator delta nu which uh, equal to four four multiplied by the Laplace filter minus uh, this uh, uh, this vector field, uh, which is the first one, or
And this, uh, this uh, as uh, in, in a previous discussion with uh, Andre and uh, <coughs> and Alexei, they proposed to uh, to construct this uh, this bridge by studying the uh, the martingale pro the martingale problem uh, associated to this uh, uh, signal differential operator. And uh, just I, I mentioned how uh, how we, uh, how we can uh, pass from the, this analytic from uh, this analytic uh, setting to the probabilistic setting by considering the martingale problem. That is uh, uh, how to construct or how to de determine a probability. That uh, for any C2 function with compact support in the domain D, uh, if, for example, uh, W, or if we replace uh, here W by XT minus FZ minus one half delta LB, or for example, delta uh, the operator delta uh, the Orstein. Ullenbeck operator is a martingale or a, a local martingale. It must depend on the on the measure uh, p and on the uh, that is how to, to determine a, a probability and measure such, such, such that this process is a martingale or a local martingale. And this is uh, the, the problem that I want to work or on this uh, perspective, that's the perspective. And uh, this talk is uh, mainly uh, based on this uh, uh, paper of uh, Eru Warden and uh, uh, Eru Bosajra and uh, a paper of uh, Ishi on unitary holomorphic uh, multiplier also on some idea of Paul Maliaga on, uh, on about his work uh, work in invariant or quasi invariant uh, probability measure for in the infinite dimension group. Finally, I want to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe somebody have questions or comments, please. Uh, I have uh, the first question related to the last reference of Paul Malavin. Uh, why uh, he is calling this uh, unitarizing methods for Bayesian methods? Uh, maybe uh, because it is uh, relation to the second quantization or something? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, because this uh, type of uh, holomorphic representation is. Uh, 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 Mainly, it's constructed by breezing in the, uh, the on his uh, quantization theory. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, breezing is considered as uh, uh, holomorphic representation on some domain. Yes, in quantization theory. But I think, uh, as far as I remember, at least in his book, uh, he didn't touch uh, the. Uh, the probability. He just uh, work with uh, purely functional analysis and so, some. So, so he did not uh, produce some uh, probability representation of uh, 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 the uh, 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 They construct a, a probability measure uh, on some uh, such that, for example, uh, the space of holomorphic function and the square integrable is the Hilbert spaces. Uh, Malavin, Paul Malavin, yes? Uh, no, for Brizzy. Brizzy, oh, okay, it is interesting. Yeah, I for Brizzy. Oh, okay, uh, so it will be interesting to check this paper. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, another question is, uh, as we mentioned, uh, the homomorphic, uh, this deep D, it has a very specific structure. If we uh, suppose to have some form mapping 
uh, which maps uh, it into itself uh, onto itself then if we fix uh, two points and the derivative in one one of uh, these points then we fix uh, this uh, conforming method yes uh, so uh, so due to this uh, we uh, we strictly uh, define this uh, point uh, distance and so on uh, so uh, from this point of view, maybe it is interesting to see multi-dimensional complex uh, domains, uh, because uh, in those domains, uh, in multi-dimensional case, we have uh, much more freedom for, uh, and maybe we can have uh, two uh, different uh, Laplace Beltrami operation to different uh, operators uh, uh, or something. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, some uh, work uh, so, or some theorem, some statements about uh, the, the, for the multi uh, dimension uh, setting? Uh, this uh, paper by, uh, for example, by Airo and Busajra lifted holomorphic representation for the n dimension complex hyperbolic ball is uh, representation of uh, uh, the group on uh, the. <coughs> The n dimension complex hyperbolic ball, which is uh, an hyperbolic space, uh, which uh, generalizes uh, the, the, the Poincare uh, unit disk, for example. Mm -hmm. And also, there is uh, this uh, the second order, the Laplace Beltrami operator, the Orstein Ullenbeck operator is given by the, uh, Laplace Beltrami plus a first order term. Oh, I see, I see. Interesting. Uh, okay, that's a uh, very interesting uh, ideas, and uh, I think that uh, we will see uh, your achievements uh, in this direction, uh, at least in the next sem semester. Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much for the interesting talk. Uh, and uh, if uh, there are no other questions or comments, uh, then we will finish our uh, work for today. And uh, I must say that next section of our seminar, uh, session of our seminar will be the last one of the semester. And traditionally, it will be a scorehood readings where we will uh, see uh, a few talks of uh, young uh, persons uh, who uh, take uh, uh, probability and stochastic process in their major and uh, finish or just finishing university studies. Uh, so, uh, thanks everybody and see you next week. Bye. Anatolich, will the, will the start of next seminar, will, uh, will it be the same or a little no, bit? No, further? it will be much earlier for, uh, and uh, uh, as uh, year before. And uh, please pay attention to the uh, announcement of the seminar, which will be sent uh, all of you as usual. Yeah. No, okay. Thanks and uh, bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. bye.